Yo, what is going on Olympus fam? Hope you're all having a good day. Today I'm actually playing some Escalation by myself because I know you guys always ask for it. I know by, like playing alone isn't the smartest thing to do, but I actually got my diamond yesterday just by running with the team and playing a little bit alone. So I thought it'd be cool just to bring the competitive uh, Nasher and gameplay to the channel more because to be honest with you guys, I'm not going to lie, you guys in the comments were so fucking right. The competitive Nasher feels so much more rewarding. Uh, it just feels so much more rewarding. I mean, besides, you know, competitive gameplay and people answering like crazy, I just love the fact that I can move and approach people without being nuked. So it's like, oh, I rolled into that one. So it kind of cracks me up, yo, because no disrespect to anyone, but like, woohoo, we got the domination that quick. But I feel like some people... Like, it, you know, haters, of course, have said, like, oh, man, you're only doing that with the core Nasher because it's so, like, you know, overpowered. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I could just shit on everyone in Escalation. But if you think I was doing better because the core Nasher, you're crazy. The competitive Nasher is so much better for, like, outplays and, like, quad Nashers and stuff like that. For, like, closer game, for, you know what I mean... Uh, close combat and whatnot, the competitive Nasher blows away the core Nasher, and if you gave me the opportunity to be in those clutch positions that I'm usually in, but to choose the core Nasher or the competitive, I'm going with the competitive all fucking day. <laughs> So yeah, guys, basically, I mean, I just want to hop on the mic, you know, hopefully, you know, slay out. I'm going to start making Escalation a new, you know, just common thing. Because to be honest with you guys, originally I thought, like, I just couldn't play alone because it was impossible. But I guess if I play alone, I find people are alone. And the Nash just feels so right that I just want to keep playing with it. How's this bit? I know it's competitive, but you should be dead. Let's go. Fought my 1v2. Did he really take that? Oh, no, no. Give me that cap. I'm going for points, baby. Yo, we are just annihilating, bro. Let's go. I got a squad with me. So, hell yeah. I mean, besides just this gameplay, I actually did a gameplay with GSQ. Well, actually, just t uh, two GSQ members. We were playing Escalation. So, besides that, if you guys just want to see more common Escalation gameplay, I literally told my buddy Helios, you know, GSQ Helios yesterday, I was like, man, dude, like, I'm seriously considering, like, making Escalation the only game type I play. Now, of course, I want to, like, continuously be a montager and make clips, but... I'm overwhelmed by like I, I mean don't get me wrong guys I knew how I knew what the competitive Nasher was like when it came out I always liked it more than core just in terms of like being an out player and individual skill it's obviously better let's go let's go and the teammate threw the nade that's what I'm talking about baby so yeah, I've always known the competitive Nasher was better, it's just, you know, if I'm not running with a staff, I don't really like to lose, especially since I got my di diamond, I don't like to lose when I'm playing competitively. I don't play, like, super competitively in Guardian or Core Playlist, but when I do play serious, like, I really don't like to lose. What's up, dude? Ah, oh, I, I bet you I got 83. 90. I'll take a 90, it's better than 83. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so, uh, on that note, playing alone and then getting crossed by three, four people, or if the possible enemy team has a, a party or group of players that are all, you know, interacting and communicating, it's just, obviously, it's not gonna be fun, but that's just basic strat and teamwork and competitive style. I'm a very competitive person, grew up playing some, oh my god, played sports my whole life. Let's go, bro. Played sports my whole life. I just do not like to lose. My dad used to whoop my ass in every sport I played. <laughs> he used to drive me crazy, yo. <laughs> but it made me extremely competitive and not willing to take losses without putting in all the effort I have if it's in a competitive nature. So, um... 
the main thing that I feel like a lot of YouTubers or just content creators face is like the idea of productivity. You want something, you always want like something to constantly do. You want to feel like you're evolving. And like, I love slang and guardian, but I'm sure you guys know. I mean, some of you have said like, it's like, it's like freaking sheep. You know what I mean? It's like me moving sheep into a place so I can murder them <laughs> and get their wool, metaphorically speaking. So it's like, it's not about me not wanting to clip. I still want to clip and play like that. But it's just about, you know, the fact that like, I love, I do, I, there's nothing more that I like than a like a nasher 1v 1v2 and i get to just fight my opponents pure skill base without getting fucking nuked oh he got me no he didn't should have there's another one isn't there no oh shit yeah there is they put down a sniper i think he should have been dead there let's go Opportunity is knocking. And the reverse! Did he just. Dude, he does not give a shit. I love this Nasher, yo. I love this na It's so good, dude. It's so beautiful and so clean, and I don't get nuked. Whoever, just to make it clear, I, I occasionally do play Escalation. I love Escalation, but I just want to make it clear that somebody, I forgot, I, I, if I was using Sony on this video, which I actually ain't because of the way I'm recording it, I would have posted your comment that you put, but he said, um, if I feel that being a better Nasher player and not getting rewarded in core to try competitive. And like I said, I know the competitive obviously is more skill based, but the level of skill based difference is unbelievable. It almost makes me feel like me in core. Like that's what blows my mind is some people think I'm, I don't know, I just feel like I can do better in escalation. Some people think I'm going off because it's core. It's like, dude, I've, the only times I honestly die, genuinely speaking, the way I feel like I get like outplayed is genuinely from like nukes or two people. Like I don't ever feel like, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Don't get me wrong. It, it happens. I lose my 1v sometimes, but I feel more like, um, there was an issue with the fight than in competitive where it's like, Oh, I fucking, I lost my gunfight. I fucked up. Dude, we are just gonna dominate these guys' souls, man. They got an 18 second respawn. They're guaranteed getting dominated. They don't even got one guy in the home hill. Poor souls, bro. Oh, that would've been dope. Go to your home hill. <laughs> I'm tweaking now. I'm tweaking now. What's up, double? We got B. I'll go cut off B real quick. Let's get it, baby. No, I, I won't, because they're going to cut back to home. Our team clearly has B. Ah, oh, I should have pulled it. I should have pulled it. <laughs> Wanted to get that. Uh, I'm going outplay for the timing, baby. But also, guys, if you guys didn't know, dude, what I've been doing lately is um, I've been saving a lot of scrap, and I had like 8,000 scrap, and then I was like, man, dude, what if these new characters that aren't are coming aren't craftable? So I've been trying to save up on credits, and I think I have like 24,000, but lately I've been uh, crafting the Escalation 250 bounty, and then I've just obviously been playing Escalation, so I feel like... You know, obviously scrap is important, but I have like I have like 20 characters to scrap right now, so I have extra scrap. So I've been building these bounties, and dude, it's so crazy. Like my my game, I had 51 kills in Escalation. I got 540 credits. Like I was like, holy crap! That means if I had two good games, I have a thousand credits. You know, so that means if I play eight games in one night, that's a good little sitting playing eight Escalation games. That I'm gonna make what 16 or what's that eight of uh times of five yes fucking sit four thousand damn Our 
Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That's why I did that. Which way is he coming from? Let's go, teammate. Pick that up. Pick that up. I got it. I got it. Go somewhere else. They rotated to our home hill, baby. I'm trying to get the piece. Let's go. I'm going to rotate their home, slowly take control. They're going to spawn behind me. Oh, the body, the easy ass body. I'll give you that functions. See, like literally, I feel like that was the first time this game that um technically speaking, I got outgunned. I didn't I was just being a dumbass bouncing around trying to show off. So I probably could have took him if I played the competitive route, but he fucking murked me. They're putting on a fight now, boys. What are you doing? Are you lagging? Aw, oh, poor guy. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. No, I don't agree with that one. I don't know about that one, guys. I might have missed. Somebody get on one of these hills. They're going to take control at all. How do we still have control of their home hill? Ah, oh, they lost somebody. That's it. That's it, boys. No, watch out. Watch out. All right, you guys got home. You guys are dominating. Okay. One more round to go, boys. I'm pushing up. Take mid. Yo, that's one thing that I'm really bothered by. I was just playing ranked King of the Hill, and it just sucks. Like, I want them to really do something about this, uh, this ranking system. Because, uh, as soon as you know you start losing, your teammates quit out. And it's like, once you have two teammates quit out, you can't quit out or you get the quit penalty. And I just had to sit in the game for 10 minutes. And then at the end of the game, shout out to those players. They Like three of them messaged me saying, yo, good game, Zeus. And it was like, it was a 3v5 and I had one guy who wasn't even playing because, you know, I, I'm assuming that he was just waiting to waiting for the game to end. So if he, he didn't want to quit out because he would have got suspended. So basically... It was a 2v5, and I'm not knocking the players or anything, but I'm just saying they were like, good game. like, And I was I was a little bit salty because I was like, man, this shit wasn't a good game. Like, <laughs> that was a terrible game. <laughs> Come here, my friends. Ah, oh, I just got shit on. I was 17%, and then he just hits me with the one. I can't believe I didn't even snatch MVP. I was just being a Slayer player. I can, If I can get like three caps real quick, a couple kills, I'll get MVP. Let's go, baby. Let's go. End it. Let's go. All right, baby. We got that seven piece completely solo feeling it. Shout out to the Olympus fam. If you guys want to see more, you know, competitive gameplay, I'll start trying to run with the squad more. Obviously, get placed against better competition, but I'm doing what I can. I play competitive. You guys asked for it. I don't want to hear, oh, it's not a scram. It's core. It's public, competitive. Like, Jesus Christ, guys, what you want me to do? <laughs> but on a real note, I really, really do enjoy this Nasher, so I do see myself playing this a lot more, maybe going for outplays. Of course, I'm going to worry about the win. I did get my diamond, so that's pretty dope. But as always, homies... If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. And fuck, I forgot to put my bounty on. <laughs> Peace out, yo.